Hey everyone, it's Tony. We have just got some good news out of the HBO camp. We have word from HBO that are, are four shows in development by four different writers, with George R. R. Martin being attached to two of those shows. The writers that are involved in these spin-offs, speculated spin-offs, are Max Baron Bornstein, um, and he was a writer on Godzilla and um, Kong Skull Island. Then they have uh, Jane Goldman, which was a writer on X-Men First Class uh, the King and the Kingsman Secret Service. Brian Helgeland, I'm probably butchering his name, but uh, yeah, he's probably the most successful of the four, which he has an Oscar for L.A. Confidential, and he also is a writer on Mystic River. And then probably the one with the least amount of experience of the four is uh, Carly Rae. But she's been a um, writer on Mad Men and the HBO show The Leftovers. But with Jane Goldman and Carly Rae being the two that George R. R. Martin will be attached to. So what those two shows, they will, or spinoffs they will be developing, we're yet to know. But um, the speculated spinoffs that we have would be uh, number one would be Robert's Rebellion. Now, for show watchers, not only his story is familiar due to Game of Thrones being a culmination of Robert's Rebellion, taking place 18 years earlier. This prequel can show the common Game of Thrones fan the events and realm fracturing war that took place and has led to modern day Westeros. Number two of spin offs would be Tales of Duncan Egg. This prequel would take the least when it comes to the budget. It centers around a down-on-his-luck hedge knight and a young prince of the ruling Targaryen family. This said young prince, Egg, a.k.a. Aegon V Targaryen, as he comes to be known as, becomes a squire of Dunk, a.k.a. Duncan the Tall. Dunk and Egg travel through Westeros in what would be more of a buddy adventure show than the politics of Game of Thrones being novellas, the stories are shorter and out of a speculated seven novellas, there are only three completed as of now, with that and being around a hundred years before Game of Thrones. If you pretty much can go the way they want with still holding true to Martin's story. Now, the third would be the Doom of Valyria. The birthplace of House Targaryen, the Valyrian Empire was a very powerful civilization. The Valyrian Freehold, as it was called, held a vast amount of land in Essos. The Targaryens were not even close to being the most powerful of the dragon lords that ruled the Freehold. With the overmining of the area and the volcanoes of the peninsula named the Fourteen Flames, a catastrophic event culminated in what was to be called the Doom of Valyria. The Doom wiped out one of the most powerful, if not most powerful, civilizations of all time. Out of the four speculated spin-offs, this is the one we know the least about. In my opinion, this would be on the bottom of the list of speculated spin-offs. Now, the fourth of the speculated spin-offs would be Dance of Dragons. Now, if you ask me, I would have thought that this would be in no way in hell have a chance to become a Game of Thrones spin-off prequel. Due to budget alone would make this era in time of Westeros a no-go. We hear all the time how much cost that is involved when it comes to the CGI of the dragons, and that's th only three dragons that Daenerys owns. Now imagine how much of CGI will cost when there are 16 dragons involved, most full grown, going to battle with one another in this Targaryen civil war known as Dance of Dragons. With that being said, this is on the top of my list when it comes to the speculated spinoffs in the works that I myself would love to see. Outside the battles, which would be fucking amazing, the politics and intrigue that are involved in this era and time would be enough to make this spinoff the number one choice of the fandom to be made into a prequel. Now that being said, let me remind you that these are just speculation at this time. I do believe that HBO will definitely be doing a spinoff after the end of Game of Thrones. 
What that will be is yet to be determined. I can be very snobbish when it comes to the books or the show. How could I not be? The books are just on a whole other level compared to the show. That being said, any Song of Ice and Fire Game of Thrones material that would let my inner fanboy go wild for years and years to come would only be a plus in my book. Everyone have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Later.